Uh, hello? What the hell you say to me? What's up guys, Baker here. Gonna do this uh, smoky, like artistic uh, particle smoke stuff that I use in my intro. And uh, go over two examples. One's just like uh, some smoke with a little shadow. Basic 2D. And then another one's gonna be uh, integrating some 3D. So like, coming in like that. And um, if you look here, you got some shadows, 3D smoke, stuff, and it zooms across. And the color changes as it goes across the uh, text, and I'll show you how to do that. Pretty sweet. And uh, it's it's pretty cool. If you look here, if I go to full res and zoom in all the way, it's uh, some pretty nice, high-quality looking smoke. And uh, yeah, let's so check it out. Now this is going to be uh, a little advanced, it's going to be a little long, so uh, try to stick with me. So we'll just do uh, 720p basic stuff. And um, we'll start with the background layer, call it background, and make it just below white, because we're going to have a flare, and if it's pure white, you won't be able to see it. And uh, another new solid, we'll call this the, uh, the smoke, and we'll make it black, just so we can... Uh, differentiate it and if you have particular that's what we're going to be using today so drag that on and just really quick I'm going to change the color to black so we can see it alright so first thing we're going to do is make a new null object and rename this to uh, wiggle control and toggle switch to make it 3d and we're going to push uh, P to get the position, right click, and separate dimensions. <clears throat> okay, go to your smoke, and we're going to link the position of the emitter to this um, no object. So we're going to go down to effects, particular, emitter, and make some room here. And uh, position X, Y, alt click on the stopwatch, uh, type bracket. Pick whip to the X, comma, pick whip to the Y, end bracket. And I'll just copy this and alt click on the zero or the Z position and go to Z position. So we just linked up the emitter to the no object. Okay. So let's get into the uh, the real settings here. Um, emitter. So we're gonna have twenty thousand particles per second and uh, let's go to pre-run put that to a hundred percent so it will already fully start um, velocity turn that down to 25 and then we're going to alt click on the velocity and type in wiggle parentheses 3 comma 25 and that'll uh, just shoot out particles a little bit more randomly and uh, gives it a little bit more organic look, pretty pretty sexy. Velocity for motion, keep it 20 or 25 around there. Particle, okay, life, let's increase that to about 4 seconds. Uh, feathering, 100. The size, turn it down to 1, tiny. Size over life, and uh, click this little ramp so it kind of fades out. And that's looking pretty cool. And um, let's let's start our position wiggle a little bit. So alt click on the X position and type wiggle. Oops, wiggle parentheses 0 0.5 comma 150. And go ahead and highlight that and copy and paste it to the Y and paste it to the Z. So now we got this uh, thing wiggling around. Right, pretty pretty cool. Alright, what other settings do I have? Let's go down and let's go to the physics. So this is where the cool stuff happens. So uh, let's add a little bit of wind. So maybe like 5 in the X and just close that on me. 5 in the X, negative 5 on the Y and 5 on the Z if you want. So a little bit more organic. Got some wind going on. And turbulent field. Let's affect the position by 100, and maybe the size by like 1, yeah. And the scale, turn that up to 20, 
evolution speed and let's turn that down to 15 and that should be it yes so if we kind of look here it's a little slow but we got some smoke and uh there's a lot of little dots so to get rid of those dots I used CC vector blur drag that on and we're going to turn this amount up to 15 and nothing happens because this is set by luminant or lightness and we need to set it to alpha there we go and set natural to perpendicular and then just duplicate it now we got two of those so it's nice and smooth and get this nice smoky effect pretty cool now to add the flare I'm gonna go ahead and make a new solid call this flare and now I'm gonna be using optical flares And we'll go to options. <coughs> go to show presets. Yeah. Go to light. And I used subtle cool. And just uh, the streak, just scale it up a little bit so we got some a little bit larger lines. I think they look cool. And now we gotta link the, uh, the position. So let's set this from 2D to 3D, and we need to uh, link the position to the position of the smoke emitter. We could do it to the null, but we this would be a little bit easier. So position X, Y, alt click, pick whip to position X, Y. Position Z, alt click, pick whip, position Z. Done. Alright, now if we set this layer to screen, it's right in front of the main emitter of the smoke. And uh, you don't have to have that flare, but I think it just adds a little nice touch rather than having it just kind of plain like that. And uh, to make a simple 2D shadow, duplicate your smoke. Okay. And I'll solo it, solo it for now. And turn on transparency. Delete the vector blurs. And let's add in a fast blur and set it up to about 25. And then we'll take this, put it underneath, and call it Smoke Shadow. And what we'll do is we'll push S for scale, unlink this, and set the Y value to 25. And push P for position and just drag it down. And there you go. You got a nice little fake fake shadow pretty cool now you guys want me to show you how to do that little 3d part okay cool so I'll delete the shadow for now and let's see here what can I do I uh, will make a camera 35 is fine I'll make another new uh, null object make that here let's move these down to the bottom Make the null object uh, 3D. Parent the camera to that null. And we'll just rename this to uh, cam control. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and take our smoke, duplicate it, and we'll rename it to smoke shadow again. And pretty much the same delete the vector blurs, add in that fast blur. Okay, but now we need to make that a 3D layer. layer. And go into particular, <coughs> go down to transform, world transform, and rotate it on the x axis negative 90 degrees. Okay, and now rotate your smoke shadow negative 90 degrees, and push P, and just bring this down. Down like that. So there you go. So now if we rotate the camera, let's see here. R. There we go. Rotate the camera. It's gonna be slow, but you can make a uh, a quick rotation or animation, and it will <coughs> rotate as if we have a shadow like that. 
and then you can, of course, you can make a uh, 3D text, which I'll show you in a second. Pretty slow because there's, you know, 20,000 particles being born. This uh, thing. All right, so text. So let's go ahead and just type in uh, text really quick. Just move it over here. 3D layer, and uh, we'll put the flare on top. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the uh, wiggle control, and uh, if, let's just move the X position over a little bit, so that kind of slides it over. All right, and uh, what we're gonna do here is um, we're gonna animate the smoke going over across the text. So right here, we'll keyframe the X position of the wiggle. Move forward about a second and then just drag the X over across the text. Let's see. Just like that. And we can position the uh, the text so it gets right in the middle. And what you want to do is duplicate the text. Call this uh, like red text if you want. And we're going to fill that. Fill. Fill it with red. And we're going to duplicate the main smoke, put that on top of the red text. Oh, darn it. Okay, on top of the red text, yeah. And then red text, set the track mat to alpha mat. Now let's uh, highlight both the text and the red text and position it just like that. So that's a cool way to get this little red looking effect. And, um,. That's about it. I don't want this tutorial to go too long, which I already know it is. So, just copy down those settings I gave you, and you got this cool looking smoke, and then just mess around. Uh, I highly suggest messing around with the, the settings, because uh, it depends on how, f how far you're moving, you know, like how big your composition is, what kind of animation it is, but that's a cool way to get some smoke. Please like the video. And check out these other tutorials, because I'm bored and stuff. Okay, I'm done talking. Okay, bye.